Here we go! Hello again! It's been a day. I don't know anybody else has had a day. I've had a bit of a day. I feel like I've been... Hello! I think I'm just starting now. Wow! Hello, everybody. Um, it's been a day. I feel like I've been running a marathon and I just to get to this point. So, but I made it and I'm pretty much done the to-dos for the day and now I get to have like a nice um, evening with a socially distant Mother's Day evening with my mom and my Pavlova. Some of you might have seen um, that I was doing that because I posted it to my personal page and uh, gonna do the last few things here as I demo the sharps because I have a few little um, uh, um, garnishes to finish up. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about what I have to show you and I have a surprise at the end. So don't leave too soon. Um, if you're if you're watching from a page, um, which nobody's watching yet, but eventually, if you're watching from a page, I'll say this again: go to my main page. Don't watch from the group. I've posted it in the group, so it'll be there later. So it's just one last thing for me to do. But go to the page. Go to my come cook with pepper chef. Ursula, sorry, come cook with Ursula and pepper chef um, page, and that's the best place. And then I'll see your comments. So as soon as there's people here. Uh, I expect there might be a couple, um, and if there's not, that's fine. Uh, the video you can look at later. Um, comment, give me a shout out. I'd love to know who's here. So I'm going to get started. I just want to make a plug for booking a show uh, to get an air fryer at half price right now. Only hosts can get it, so you have to book a party. Um, so do it. It's so easy. Honestly, like I set it all up. All you got to do is invite your friends and then chat them up for a while on Facebook. And it's lots of fun. Um, I think the parties that we're having are pretty fun. Um, I'm hearing that from hosts and and uh, and the hosts that you know that are participants um, seem to want to engage with me after, and that's always like really cool. So I feel like new friends are sort of being made on the internet. And of course, I would hope to meet these people for real one day. That'd be lovely. So book a party. What do you got to lose? You can do it by Zoom too. Um, also, May is an amazing month to do this. Hey, somebody's here. Woo, woo. That's exciting. Let me know who you are. Um, May is an amazing month to join this business. Come join me. I would love to do this with somebody else, um, figure it out together, tell you what I know, get you launched. Um, you can actually start this business for free right now because they will, once you sell, I can't remember what it is, it's like $800 in two months or three months, they pay back your consultant's kit if you get the smallest one. It's, it's a crazy deal. So hi, Laura, hi, yay, how cool. Uh, we were just almost talking earlier in our other world, so how fun, yay, glad you're the one. So, you know, if you're interested in this business and you have questions and you're not totally sure, but you just wanna get real with somebody about it, call me. Uh, you can message me. I'll tell you what I know. I'm going to sell it to you straight. I am not a salesperson. Uh, I am emphatic. So when I believe in something, uh, I get excited about it. And I'm, I'm excited about this. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little stoked up in here to be doing this right now. And I think I had space in my life for something super positive, passionate. I could just, just be creative and it's not complicated because my work world on the other side there is just getting a little pandemic complicated. I don't know if anybody can relate, but there we go. I know I'm not alone with that. Uh, so this is my breath of fresh air and I get to just be my own crazy, goofy, weird self uh, on the internet and um, talk about food and cool kitchen gadgets. So it doesn't get much better than that. Okay, I'm gonna get into the sharps because that's kind of why you're here. I know you're here for the gear and the food. We're not doing a lot of cooking today. It's sort of just showing a bunch of stuff. Um, and there'll be much more food stuff to come. And then I told you that there was a surprise at the end. So don't leave too soon because I got a shipment today. And my I'm very excited about the toy that's in the box right down there. And so I'm going to open it with you and be excited with you. So that's going to be cool at the end. Okay, so the tools. I'm just going to quickly run through them. And then we're, I'll, I'll demo each one. So we got the kitchen shears. These are pretty awesome. Dishwasher safe. Um, you can cut your chicken, 
I use them in the garden. I know people find that a little bit concerning, but for the light garden job, honestly, and then you put them in the dishwasher, like who cares? So I've had these for, I think eight years and uh, I haven't regretted it yet. So that was a cool, comes with guard. Everything sharp from Pampered Chef comes with a really high, like this is not a flimsy, this is something that you hold on to guard. So that's pretty cool. I think the shears look a little different now. I think these are the slightly older ones, but the function of them is the same. The design is a little fresher now. Uh, we got the can opener, same, same design as always. Lots of you guys probably have this one. It's great because when you open the can, the edges of the lid and the bottom are both not sharp. So you kids around and you got a recycling bin, you don't have to worry about your two-year-old reaching in a recycling bin, I mean, at least for the cans. Um, maybe for the other things, you know, but not for getting, getting cut. We've got an apple corer and slicer. Love this, baby. This is great for if you like making pies, apple pies or apple sauce, where you gotta do a lot of apples. Um, or if you're making a snack and you just wanna and I'll show you with an apple later. That also has a guard handy. We got our Carla Press. I'll show that to people again. Three people watching. Woo! Let me know who you are. Get super excited. Four people. Woo! This is exciting. Anyways, garlic Press. Some of you have seen this in another demo. I'm going to do it again because can we really get enough garlic? Never. The honing tool. This comes with any knife set. So the big knife block that comes with I think eight knives, I'm guessing there, but a beautiful, lovely set that I believe is on is on sale right now comes with this tool. So I'm going to show you the sharpening tool um, so you can see that because I use that baby. I've got the slice and serve. So this is handy for pie because you can cut and serve with one thing. So that's cool. Pizza. It's also really good. I had one of these. This is a new one because I had one of these and I threw it away in a pizza box into the green bin. So that was a bummer. And so I bought another one at my fundraiser. So it's here. Well, not my fundraiser, but I bought another. Yeah, no, sorry. Another fundraiser long ago with my sister. Um, and then we got the zester, the microplane zester. I'm going to do a little orange for my uh, berry topping for my pavlova. So excited about that. This is a great little unit. Again, I've had this, I don't know, I started buying this stuff 10 years ago and, and I haven't bought any for a while. So it's at least seven years old and still super sharp and gets used quite a bit. It's also really handy for having pasta at the table and you want to have the parmesan freshly shaved into your dish so that's pretty cool um, i like having it fresh shaved parmesan i find that it is more cost effective that way than buying the graded bag so you know as a side note and then we've got the utility knife i just got this the other day and it's super nice and sharp really reasonable little knife 19 dollars comes with a guard too you can sharpen it um yeah really nice little product the mitch and chop really a sharp but it is sharp on the bottom which is what makes it so great so when you're chopping up your ground meat even your frozen ground meat in the fry pan because you're totally you didn't take the meat out in time and you're feeling hectic because it's Wednesday and it's 5 30 and the kids are hungry this bad boy is your friend also great for breaking up canned tomatoes I like buying whole canned tomatoes not the diced kind better quality tomato typically in the whole. I heard my chef Michael Smith say that one time. I was like, that makes sense. So the mix and chop is my friend there. Also good for like muddling. I did uh, the sangrias at one of the demos and muddled with the mix and chop. Super versatile, honestly. I I've wanted one of these for a while and it came with the consultant's kit. And so I'm in the money now. And then I've got the, can I say it? Do you think I can say it folks? I don't know if I can. Santoku, oh, I said it on the first time. The Santoku five inch, had this knife for ages, steel shank, nice balanced blade. Um, it's five inches, so it's good because it's got a wide blade, so it's good for lots of chefing activities, um, lots of chopping, um, big, you know, big piles of onions, but um, because it's nice and small, it's okay for the small jobs too. So it's sort of that nice in between. And I'm a lover of knives, so I don't want to do a paring knife for everything. I like a big knife. Um, I want some power. I want some heft behind my chop. And so this baby is sort of the, the sort of the best of both worlds. So if you're just going to get one knife, this would be probably with the one I would suggest not or if you're just not a knife person and you're going to get one knife then I would get this one you know you're just going to be doing apple snacks and you know the occasional little thing so 
Um, and I think that's it. So let's get started. Um, okay, so who wants who out there wants to choose the first thing that I'm gonna demo? Who's gonna be the first one to tell me what I'm gonna try? Anybody brave? They wanna tell they wanna tell me what to do? <laughs> Well, Laura is here first, so maybe Laura wants to decide. If Laura is listening and she wants to post um, something that you want to see first. Any? Going, going, going. Okay, well, I'll get to yours next, and I'm going to start with a can opener. Okay, and I'm going to tip this up so you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, can opener. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to open. I'm going to be making barbecue sauce tomorrow, so I'm going to open up my can of tomatoes, because it's gonna be that kind of barbecue sauce straight from scratch. I'm gonna start with real tomatoes. And uh, so I just plunk that on there. You know, I, we've all seen a can opener, pretty typical. This second part is kind of cool, because once I've gone all the way around, I go backwards. And then I just see these little um, metal teeth there. I can barely see them, teeny tiny. That just grips the edge. And then I just go like that. And this, is totally fine bom, bom, bom. and this is also fine i can actually run my finger around there maybe make a song so that's pretty cool i really like that i've had it forever um it's nice because it's encased in plastic so it's easy to wipe down um easy to easier to clean i find than those old hand crank ones where everything all the metal is exposed so that's a cool thing i don't see anybody T tuning in on what they want to see. So I'm just going to carry on here. We've got the kitchen shears. I was sort of looking for something hard to cut um, for these. Like the, the thing that's great um, is like cutting up chicken pieces. You know, like I don't know if any of you have ever butterflied a whole chicken where you like cut it up the back and then and then splay it and then you can cook it that way. Oh, the mix and chop. Laura wants to see the mix and chop. That'll be up next, Laura. Um, but um, so, so cutting up to whole chicken, it's, it's going through those tendons like nobody's business. I just have um, a spare Tupperware lid that is not got a bottom anymore, so I don't really need to have it in my Tupperware bin. And I just want to see how easy that is. Just like that. I'm going to toss it all around. So it, these, these guys are powerful. This is why we use, I use it in the garden, of course. Um, but great for all the like chopping your herbs or anything crafting. They're great for for crafting with the kids too. So they're sort of a great all around utility scissor. Um, I like those. We got the mix and chop. Okay, so what I have here is I just have some hard boiled eggs. Um, they're they're halved, and so you know I'm just gonna give those a go. Kind of that was four chops. And that's sort of what that's looking like. So, so it's just great. It's a great tool. It's great for just that. I'm making egg salad right now. Um, it's pretty versatile. Um, great for making smashed potatoes. Um, that's I hear folks talking about that. If you like the rustic potato, uh, mashed potato with kind of a little bit of chunks in there, then it would be good for that. And like I said, the frozen last minute meat. Um, Going in the fry pan, it's great for that. Um, the tomatoes, um, it's it's a it is a really handy tool for lots of things. So I wouldn't and not expensive at all. Um, okay, so next let's go to. I'm just gonna start over here. I've got my santoku. Oh, I'm really getting the hang of it now. I think I think I might have it now that I've had to say it out loud here for your demo. So I've just got some mint here. And I'm doing chiffonade for my berries that it's going to go on top of my um, pavlova. So chiffonade is like long, thin strips. Um, so I've just kind of rolled up my mint into kind of a little burrito. And then I'm just going to do really thin little, look at just how lovely that just grabs. So this is like a nice little job where a big chef's knife would be kind of awkward. Um, and this is just the right size. So there we go. I've got my mint and I'm going to put that in my berries here. And I'm going to show you that in a minute because I'm going to put one more thing and then I'll show you that. The berry mixture is looking kind of good. So that is the Santoku. Uh, and like I said, if you just are looking for one knife, 
because you know you're just watching the budget but you just really want one good one this this would be the one that i would suggest i would i would buy it again in a heartbeat if i threw this one away in a pizza box like i did my slice and serve um okay so i've got an orange this one has already had some zesting from uh, my mole sauce that some of you might have seen me make the other day um had a little zest but uh and i'm actually just gonna just gonna do this onto the cutting board and then put it on. But you just, it just grabs it. And you just want it for zesting. You just wanna go a couple times per spot. You don't wanna go into the pith. You just want the, the rind that has all the nice oils. Oh, that smells so good. And this is just to flavor my berries with a little bit of citrus. Um, that's just about a teaspoon there. Um, I'll just kinda, show you there i mean it's orange zest it's not uh, rocket science but this tool um it just stay sharp the micro blade brand i guess partnered with pamper chef um micro plane excuse me um and so they have various products not just pamper chef but um the the sharpness of the grating the zesting is quite hard to beat um you know versus the old um the old um, grater that I have kicking around my cupboard for my cheese. And that thing is a little, leaves a little bit of something to be desired when it comes to, um, oh, when it comes to zesting. So, oh, we're having trouble playing this video. Hopefully, I don't know if you guys can still hear me. Gonna give it a second just in case. 